Hi, welcome back to the people that have been following along and welcome to the new people. I've been noticing this last week or two, the uh, subscribers have been uh, really rolling through. So uh, yeah, thanks for everyone that's following along and subscribing and that's pretty cool to, uh, to see it happen. So I really appreciate it and yeah, keep coming back, man. So what uh, what's changed since since the last video? It's probably been at least a week and a half or two weeks. Lots of things, as you can tell. Let's just take a little uh, visual tour around, and then we'll jump into uh, some details. Not much really on the inside. This last two weeks has been primarily focused on uh, the electrical. So I think that's probably what we'll look at. So this is the back of the machine. Welcome. So yeah, stepper wires and uh, the limit switch stuff. Uh, the blue guy is for the air blast and the two white guys are the two lights. I originally had some concern about some like, uh, you know, interference and stuff with the higher voltage and then the, the limit switches uh, but I didn't I wasn't aware the uh, the MX 3660 which is running the uh, uh, limit switches is actually doing them at 12 volts so I was pretty juiced when I found out about that because as you can tell you know things are a little close but um, yeah I think it turned out pretty swell and then you can see I got these uh, the lights, the wires for the lights, cute run down the back there. You've seen all that stuff anyways. This is what I've been working on. I'll try to take a little tour. So yeah, this is the classic 10 pounds of shit in a five pound uh, box in this case, but uh, we got it done. It's definitely uh, tight, so I'll have to sort of figure or, uh, you know, tuck in a couple more wires, but we don't really have all of the input-output stuff as far as, like, the VFD um, and uh, some control wire stuff hooked up, but uh, we'll power it up and uh, take a peek, but this is the gist. This was the... That's the ESS with the C25S daughter board on top. And um, I printed a little bracket to hold all of it. And um, yeah, that's the input and output stuff for the buttons. And also you can see one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Not everything's uh, wired on the machine, but it's the wires are labeled on the schematic. And, um, some fuses these were the fuses that used to be on there where those blanks are and the VFD and then there is the NUC in there uh, with the various USB there's the USB hub on the top and this is the converter for the mod bus down the road. So yeah, lots of stuff in there. And that's the uh, 120 volt, it's like a 120 mil uh, fan. It's pretty quiet. We'll fire it up here and uh, we'll take a look. Also have the uh, Liquitite stuff for all of the uh, input output. But wires for, pardon the crashing, for the buttons on the HMI. Here's the HMI. It's the Asus USB powered monitor. It's pretty slick and thin. I can turn it on actually. And then our buttons. 
not everything is really hooked up. Oh, I guess I gotta turn the control power on. And the computer's on right now, that's independent. You could cycle it on and off if you wanna, you know, check your email or something when the machine's not on. <laughs> Bonus points. This is the machine control power, so turn that on. And now we got some activity in here. interesting this fan on the top is really quiet and this is where the power supply is at and that's the definitely the noisiest fan and the power supply is inside that louvered box uh, but overall the machine nice little hum pretty happy with it there's the uh, braking resistor it's just one of the uh, Chinese no namers you know the ones that like leak white sand out of them. I hope that $13 accessory isn't the thing that burns the machine down. So I think to get started on my spindle control, um, I plan on doing Modbus, but uh, maybe down the road. Um, I just am not really sure on how to do any Mach 4 Lua scripting stuff, so that's going to have a you know a little bit of a learning curve to it, but um, in the t for the time being, the the MX has a zero to ten volt you know your standard spindle control thing. So I think I might try hooking that up um, to the uh, the VFD to get that going. Um, and then I need a couple. Not really sure on how to do them. A couple like alarms. I want to do an alarm from the VFD to like an input and. Uh, I know the VFD as well has some uh, PLC stuff on board and like uh, some intelligent inputs and outputs that you can make different, you know, do different things. But uh, if anyone has any pointers or things, you know, like alarms or kind of like stuff like that that they think that uh, are good to have, then it'd be cool. Let me know. Um, so. Yeah, I think that's, that's about it as far as in there. I had fun with, you know, a couple sticker, you know, lettery things and some shrink wrap and yeah, I'm about ready to be done messing around in there. Looking forward to popping on the uh, wire duct tops and, you know, sort of being done, tucking away the last couple grounds. Let's move up and, uh, Look at the screen. Are you ready? You sure? Lights, camera, action! Hey, hey, the lights are on. Ah. Yeah, I think the lights are gonna be uh, nice. You know, it's they're not really as bright as I thought they would be. Um, they're only 10 watt LEDs. Um, so, but yeah, I, I'm happy. I think it's, it's going to be nice. Um, maybe when they burn out, we'll upgrade to the, uh, 20 waters. But for the time being, I think it beats a dark, dingy old enclosure. So for 10 bucks, man, you can't go wrong. So that is my $10 LED light review in a nutshell. They're freaking sweet. Another little thing that uh, I learned right off the bat is um, this, uh, this little Logitech keyboard is wireless and um, yeah, the, the box that all the enclosure or all of the electronics are in, as well as the computer, you know, it's like a grounded, shielded iron sarcophagus. And uh, 
Yeah, the little transmitter for this Logitech keyboard has some latency issues um, and the door's not even on the uh, uh, enclosure yet. So uh, came up with sort of a fun uh, little workaround. I got a, a USB repeater and this blank hole here and I'm just going to plug the uh, the Logitech uh, wireless transmitter right through there. So basically it'll be like a USB just like that but down there. So. Uh, that should work because it, I tested it by putting the, the transmitter, the receiver, whatever it is, outside of the box, and uh, it works as you would expect it to. So it's funny, got little things. Uh, I didn't think it was going to be a problem. But. So the machine is sitting here uh, idle. I guess it is. It's. I'll disable it. It doesn't seem to make a difference, but. Um, I'll bring you down here by the X motor, and I'm sure you can probably hear this through the, the microphone. It's like a, uh, sounds like the stepper sort of, you know, making a noise. Um, is that noise normal when the machine is not engaged? Or, I mean, it's not uh, uh, enabled, but the drives, the machine's not enabled, but uh, the light on here says the drive's enabled because it's got power to it, so. Uh, should those motors just sit there sort of making that really quiet, you know, I don't want to call it a buzzing noise, but um, so if it's something that I should address or I'm not doing right, um, let me know. I'd really appreciate it. So here it is uh, fired up and um, yeah, the, let me see if we can, Man, this is really difficult uh, doing this through the monitor. Oh, enable. I knew I needed to do that. That's the uh, air blast relay is hooked up and um, I got it tied to here, but uh, I guess uh, as I I'm learning, uh, in order to tie it to like a button like this, then I need to be, uh, I guess, a Lua script programmer. So uh, that's gonna be the next task, I guess. Same with uh, homing the machine uh, to back off the home offsets. I guess I have to have some sort of a script as well like none of it is really uh, built into the machine I guess so I mean into mock like it's all you know you got to customize it so um, yeah it's a bit overwhelming but you know I don't really have any other choice so we'll muddle through it you know so yeah that is that and I've been messing around with the uh, um, the motor tuning just you know having some fun and uh yeah so we'll move the x-axis around a little bit so this is the x-axis and it's at 300 units a minute and 30 seconds squared acceleration. I'm not sure where, uh, let's put this on the tripod so you don't get no nauseous. So yeah, that's uh, that's it moving at that. Um, I'm not sure, it doesn't really mean anything, I suppose, but 
Um, it's fun to see the machine that you've been working on for, you know, coming up on a year Christmas. Uh, finally move a little bit. So, yeah, I think that's it. Keep this one short and sweet. And, um... Uh, Yeah, so thank you for watching and uh, tuning in and subscribing and liking and all that. And if you got any questions, or please, if you got any suggestions, um, get a hold of me. I'm normally pretty quick to respond. So uh, until the next time, cheers and uh, have a happy Friday.